Hi, welcome back to my channel, Antoinette here. We're going to take a look at the much awaited second edition normal tarot. I don't know a lot about this other than it's just come through my door and I've opened it and laid it out ready to flick through. It's got extra cards in the deck, a lot more cards, additionals. It comes with this because it was on Kickstarter and I backed early. I got this free um, print. It's got some gold foil on it. So it came with, there were gold and silver. You could order either deck, plus or minus the books. So I ordered the books to go with them. The boxes are nice and sturdy. Nothing fancy on the boxes. Glossy. And then we have the decks. So if we move this lot out of the way. Let's do that. I've just got the decks side by side. The names on the cards are different and the difference is they are gold and silver. So if we just zoom in. Tiny bit more. I'm going to stop there. Yeah, so the gold and silver, they are edged. You can see that. This one's gold. This one's been edged in silver. The backs are different. And so we'll just go through them. So they do have gold, so the gold one obviously has gold foil. And the silver one has silver foil here around the borders. And um, some of the cards, as you see there, have silver foil in the images too. So we'll just go through them. As I say, I've not been introduced to this deck before, so it's going to take me a while. I don't know why all the names are different, but um, those of you who are familiar with this tarot will know. The Sinner. morning queens and the reason why I got the two different decks is because the images were so different and I couldn't make up my mind on some of the images of the empty throne mm, that's got a little bit of double boiling on it anyway librarian or huntress Sorceress, the traitor, masquerade. I've seen the masquerade come up a lot actually in some different kind of oracles and things now. Seems to be a popular depiction. Lanterns, ghosts. So this deck was made by the Alley Man. I'm calling him the Alley Man. Same person that did the Alley Man's Tarot. Book of Flowers. But I think the Alley Man's Tarot might arrive faster than this one managed to. And he was just held to ransom by the process of making a deck. So the Book of War. They're very different, aren't they? And that's got some silver. This one feels more like an old grimoire and this is more like a pirate's kind of battle station book. <laughs> book of the Lost. The Book of Chaos. The Book of Secrets. So this feels like a suit of some description. And we have our Suicide King. The Drowned King. The Burnt King and our Lost King. Brooding King. Oh, there's a lot of kings. Courteous King. Betrayed King. And we have the Moons. Sorry. This will take a bit longer than normal because there's so many. We're not even halfway through. The new moon. Wife and Crescent. First quarter. The Wax and Gibbous. The 
full moon, the waning gibbous, the last quarter, the waning crescent, the winter solstice, the second of winter, third of winter, and the fourth. Seventh, oops, eighth. So you can just see, just about make out on this one. It's not going to show up here, is it? Just there. That's the silver, just between the icicles. So it's not as um, elaborate or as obvious on the silver. Just stand out moments. Winter night one, okay. Winter night two. Winter night three. And then we have the winter lady. The winter queen. The winter mother. Spring equinox. Second of spring, third of spring, fourth of spring, fifth of spring, sixth of spring, seventh of spring, eighth of spring, ninth of spring, tenth of spring. So you can see you're getting a feel that this deck, the suits are completely, completely, it's, I think it's his own system. We have the spring of night one, spring of night two, spring of night three, spring lady, spring queen, spring mother, and then summer solstice with our second of summer, third of summer, fourth of summer. Summer, sixth of summer, seventh of summer, excuse me, which knows, eighth of summer, ninth of summer, tenth of summer. So, summer night one, summer night two. Night three, and then we have the summer lady, the summer queen, the summer mother. I'm starting to feel a pattern of you. The autumn equinox, second of autumn, third of autumn, fourth of autumn. Of autumn, sixth of autumn, seventh of autumn, eighth of autumn, ninth of autumn, tenth of autumn, autumn night one, autumn night two, autumn night three. The Autumn Lady, the Autumn Queen, the Autumn Mother, the Masterless Knight, and the Nameless Goddess completes the decks. So then we have the Silver. And the gold. Kind of reminds me, it reminded me a little bit of the Marigold Tarot, but obviously it's completely different to the Marigold Tarot. They're not the same thing. Um, and then each one came with its own book. Okay. 
I'm just going to have the gold and the silver. I'm assuming what's in these is um, basically almost identical to each other. So this is the second edition, so I didn't know there had been a first print of this, but I think the first print was only one colour. Um, let's take a look. I like that, how to normal tarot, because obviously there's nothing normal about this. So we have credits and illustrations, we have um, the cards. And it tells us about the sinner. So the text in these is the same. It's slightly different layout. So the um, fonts are different. But from what I can see, the morning queen is garbed in black. A headdress is clad with element reminiscent of a wedding veil gown, complete with a veil, obscured in all symbolizes loss specifically. I represent. Hmm. Specifically, can represent a loss of identity. Yep. Vigil will continue. Yes. Drawing. Yep. Associations. The dead kings, the knights, the empty throne. But we'll hear dead kings, mourning queen. So it looks like it's the same. So if we just. So it tells us about seasons, reading with a deck. We have a hundred cards in here. Cards one hundred and one oh one. Hundred and one cards in the deck. Talks about the seasons. Doing three cards spread. So we've got spreads in here. So it's nice to know how to use it. Um, most importantly. The Kickstarter backers, and there I am. <laughs> My name is in there. There's pages, that's just all the pages of the backers for this deck that have been waiting patiently to receive it. Let's just see if we're in here. Yep, there I am in the bottom. same with this one as we go through so that is the rather complicated not so normal tarot um, as I say I've been waiting for this since I don't know I want to say September last year but hey ho it's here now anyway and um, I'm quite enjoying at some point in the next 12 months working out how this system works have you got this and do you use it? And um, what are your thoughts? And just as a kind of last minute, so that you don't have, if you haven't got the book, this comes in each box, which just has the key meanings for each card on there. So once you've learned how to use the um, cards in the system that it works in, you can carry this around, you've got the key meanings on there. If you can't memorize everything, it's, it's all at once. Yeah, so have you got this and are you going to use it? Did you get the first edition um how do you think the second edition varies from the first edition because obviously i have no idea and if you haven't got it would you be tempted if you did a third edition um and if this is anything to go by for quality then the aliman is going to be amazing when it arrives i can't wait thank you for watching take care guys bye